Income tax 2022-2023. Who qualifies as your dependent? Introduction. Let's do some wealth preservation with some tax preparation. Most of this information comes from the Form 1040 Tax Year 2022 Instructions Lined Instructions you can find at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Website check, please. Let's first take a look at the income tax formula, looking at which lines might be impacted by adding a dependent. Where's my new de For example, the standard deduction may but not always be impacted if there's a change in dependent. So for example, if we had a single filer and then we added a dependent, that might move the single filer up to a head of household filing status. But we want tax exempt status. The dependent often being one of the qualifications to do so. However, having a change in dependence will not always have an impact on the standard deduction, for example, if we added another child, then they're not going to move from like head of household to another filing status past that point. Another area that there could be an impact as we have the dependents are going to be the tax rates. And that will usually be tied to whether or not there was a change in the filing status. So in that first su support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Scenario where we had a single filer moving up to head of household, then there might also be a change in the progressive tax rates when actually calculating the taxes. Then we could have a impact on the credits. If it's a qualifying child, you could have a significant uh, credit. And if it's not a qualifying child, you might have an other dependent uh, credit impact. Notice that if you're thinking about like a, a quite a while back at this point in time of like an added exemption component, they changed that uh, to again, I think try to simplify the tax code. So now we've got these credits that are related to them, the child tax credit and the other dependent credit. When we're thinking about credits focused here on the child tax credit, we could have a component that would be a non-refundable component non-refundable and a component of the credit which would be a refundable component if it was refundable it can take the tax liability below zero so you basically get a benefit kind of a refund but it's not really a refund it's kind of a benefit program even though your tax liability has been gone below zero if it's non-refundable then it can't take your tax liability below zero so the benefit of the credit kind of stops at that point We'll dive into those items more deeply when we get into the calculations of the credits themselves, including the child tax credit. But as you can see, as we try to work through our accounting equation, certain or different components of the equation will have impacts on other areas of uh, the tax equation, which kind of complicates things as we move forward. So this is the form 1040. The dependents, of course, will be down here. So this is where we're gonna be listing the dependents. We've got the name of the dependent, social security number, the relation, if they're a qualifying child, if they are a credit for other dependents, then you've got the check boxes. Those then will be reflected, the credits that is, on the second page of the form 1040. So on page two of the form 1040, we saw that there might be an impact on the tax calculation in terms of the tax tables. And that might be an impact due to, for example, a move from filing status, such as single to head of household when we saw that scenario. And there could be an impact with regards to the child tax credit or credit for other dependents, the child tax credit typically being the larger one. So when we dive into the actual calculations of the child tax credit, then uh, that's the, the, the thought process would be, do they qualify as a dependent? When they qualify, if they qualify as a dependent, can I take the child tax credit? Because it's usually gonna be a more beneficial one. If not, then I'm gonna take the second credit, which is uh, the other dependents credits, if I can qualify for that. So now we'll just go into the introduction and then we'll go into the basically uh, on, the, on the instructions for the form 1040 
to see who qualifies for a dependent and then we'll go into the actual questionnaire uh, to see who qualifies for a dependent now a lot of times it's pretty straightforward who qualifies for a dependent it's, it's a child it's a, the qualifying child pretty straightforward type of situation and uh, but you could have then there's other questions with regards to well if it's a qualifying child do they qualify for the child tax credit and that could be dependent on multiple factors such as age and, and whatnot and then there could be of course other situations where someone isn't uh your child and then do they qualify for a dependent and so on and so forth so it actually gets fairly complex and it's easiest to see in like a a, a questionnaire type of format in practice oftentimes you can say okay this is a pretty straightforward scenario and when the scenario is not as straightforward then of course we can go through that formal questionnaire process to figure it out so who qualifies as your dependent dependents qualifying child for child tax credit and credit for other dependents so when you're asking whether or not they qualify for the dependent oftentimes then there's a couple things related to that do they qualify for a dependent which might change a filing status with regards to pushing someone up from single to head of household do they qualify for the dependent and then give you a tax benefit of either the child tax credit the bigger benefit or the other dependents credit that would be the next kind of scenario or set of questions follow the steps below to find out if a person qualifies as your dependent and to find out if your dependent qualifies you to take the child tax credit or the credit for other dependents if you have more than four dependents check the box under dependents on page four of form 1040 or 1040 sr and include a statement showing the information required in column one through four so there's only limited information on the first page of the form 1040 with regards to the number of dependents so if you got a whole bunch of them then you might have to add tack on another sheet there tip uh, the dependents you claim are those you list by name and social security number ssn and the dependents section on form 1040 1040 sr so clearly if you're claiming them as a dependent if you're putting something on the tax return for a child tax credit or other dependent credit then it should be reflected on page one and the irs is going to want to know the name and the number note that if there's any kind of custody issues and that's where things get kind of in the gray area for a dependent for example you can't have two people claiming the dependent because that would be kind of like double dipping on the benefits of basically the dependent and the IRS will be able to pick that up typically just without even like an intensive audit usually just with their computer system because the IRS will have the name and the social security number of the dependent so if two people claim them then then that's going to cause problems on the IRS side of things and and sometimes you won't even be able to file uh, the return if you're trying to electronically file and someone else had already claimed them as a dependent using the name and social security number for example so those are going to be important components before you begin see the definition of social security number later so obviously we can get into who has a social security number versus the tin number and the the uh, uh the def and and entering that into the system if you want to claim the child tax credit uh, or the credit for other dependents you and your spouse of filing jointly must have an ssn social security number or itin itin issued on or before the due date of your 2022 return including extensions if an itin is applied for on or before the due date of a 2022 return including extensions and the irs issues an itin as result of the application the irs will consider the itin as issued on or before the due date of the return so next time we'll get into basically the questionnaire and a more formal kind of question and answer process to determine if someone qualifies as a dependent and if so then can you get the child tax credit the better of the two credits and if not can you still get the dependent uh credit for the dependent